Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <clears throat> and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And uh, this is going to be an update to the situation over in the UK where the um, MP was um, shot and stabbed, consequently killed. And you know, like I said, we believe this thing is set up. Um, you know, to to foment the chaos that's coming. Um, now the the dude which they um had arrested for the murder of the MP who happens to be pro EU. Okay, now they said that this guy shot it out Britain first twice before he killed her. So basically, this this act of um murder against a a, a pol politician was committed by a nationalist um, those who believe that Britain should be out of the EU okay um, because Britain first is a nationalist group you got the, the nationalist front so you know like I said basically what they're doing you got nationalism which is a natural sentiment the people of, of Europe do naturally have the sentiment of um, to the most part nationalism it's just that they they didn't really realize what they were getting into when the elites set up the EU they thought it was an economic union not knowing that what was actually formed in the EU was the United States of Europe and Britain had lost its sovereignty and there is no such thing as a British British citizen anymore you're really an EU citizen you know that's that's the, that's what the elites want because that's all leading towards the complete um, destruction of the nation state and um, a one world government okay so you've got naturally you've got people who have found out about this and they're upset you know but the elites are using that sentiment and trying to control it to bring in chaos so they can use it as a scapegoat for world war 3 and the economic collapse you know so they can um, provide world government as the ultimate solution so you know this things happened on the eve of the vote for uh, or the referendum for um, the UK or, or um, Britain to leave the EU uh, an MP who is pro um, EU was murdered now they're not calling it an act of terrorism now but it is an act of terrorism based upon EU and international definitions of terrorism now update it says here death to traitors British MP murder suspect tells court it says here um, from the London AVP British lawmaker Joel Cox's alleged killer ranted against traitors in court which technically um, those who are pro EU, EU are traitors to the, the, the nationalistic view of Britain you know uh, Saturday as EU referendum campaigning was suspended for a third day in tribute to the slain MP death to traitors freedom for Britain okay 52 year old Thomas Mayer said when asked to give his name at Westminster Magistrates Court in London after being charged with murder Britain's press association reported so you know even though I, I, I believe this is set up um, there is generally a sentiment or a lot of people are against the UK government and certain people in the UK government and see them as traitors for um, selling out to the EU and, and, and um, the globalists right it says mayor who was handcuffed and wearing a grey tracksuit repeated the phrase when asked again but then remained silent when asked to provide his date of birth and address he was remanded in custody until his next appearance on Monday at the higher old Bailey Court in London England Central Criminal Court and a psychiatric report has been requested Mayor is also charged with grievous bodily harm, possession of a firearm with intent to commit an indictable offence and possession of offensive weapon. Alright, so basically this guy said death to traitors. So what what's happening here is this thing is getting to a new level. Now, like I said, if you look up the international definitions for terrorism, see a new form of terrorism is um is being um showcased to the public. Um, and the public don't realize it yet see the the other form of terrorism which they show you is Islamic extremism now the new form of terrorism is going to be the nationalists you know 
the truther, the patriot, okay, the anti-globalist, the conspiracy theorist, those are the the um uh, the biblical uh, apocalyptic, which the Hebrew Israelites will fall into that group. Those who who um um see Yahweh Shai or 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 the you know as the true ruler and government. It says there is no universal agreement regarding the definition of terrorism. Various legal systems and government agencies use different definitions. Moreover, governments have been reluctant to formulate an agreed upon legally binding definition. These difficulties arise from the fact that the term is politically and emotionally charged. To avoid this kind of confusion, the most common definition of terrorism is used which includes the following. It is the use of violence or threat of violence in order to purport a political, religious and ideological change. So when you're, when this man stabbed this MP, that's exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to purport a political uh, or, or ideological change. He wants to be nationalist. And he used murder and the threat of violence to bring, to try and bring Britain back around to a nationalist viewpoint. So that man is a terrorist. Okay. And this is what's going to happen. When the economy collapses. Right. When um, the wars begin and the martial law. If you have a problem with the government. If you have a problem. Had a problem with the EU. You are going to be deemed a terrorist, man. And you're going to be either put to death or sent to a re-education camp. Okay, all you nationalists, truthists, conspiracy theorists, you're going to be deemed a terrorist. You're going to be bunched together. Alright? And to prove you're not down with that shit, they're going to make you take that chip. Um, it says it can only be committed by non-state actors or undercover personnel serving on behalf of of their respective government it reaches more than the immediate target victims and is also directed at targets consistent of a larger spectrum of society it is a group that believes that an attack against civilians is an acceptable consequence because in order to achieve its greater goal of achieving societal change um, if we go down to the EU yeah they, you know they're setting it up they're setting it up the, the, the European Union defines terrorism as so given their nature or context may seriously damage a country or an international organization if the uk economy and the, e the economy of the eu collapses as a result of the vote for the uk to um leave the eu you're gonna see what's gonna happen i'm telling you all right watch for it the tables are gonna turn right the, the tables are gonna turn and um, you're going to see people you never expected to be defined as terrorists being defined as terrorists. That's why these laws are in place. It was never meant for Islamists. It was meant for the general population who would rise up against global governance. All right. We're committed with the aim of seriously intimidating a population or unduly compelling a government or international organization to perform or abstain from performing an act i.e. leaving the EU or not leaving the EU or seriously destabilizing or destroying the fundamental political constitutional economic or social structures of a country or an international organization all right so the, the time is coming man this is just the beginning and and eventually when all hell breaks loose anyway a lot of the people are going to rise up against the governments anyway. They're going to say to hell with it. Um, if he, uh, uh, Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men. Because when they pull the stunt that they're going to pull. And they try blaming everything on the nationalists. Conspiracy theorists and so forth. Blah blah blah. Those same people are going to be seditious. They're going to be. They're already acting seditious by all these protests. You, I believe in France you had an anti-capitalist pro protest the other day, 75,000 people. So these things are already happening, but it's going to get worse. Because the people, are, a lot of people are going to start realizing that the governments are not really representing them. They're not there for their benefit. The governments have an agenda, which is an elitist agenda. Alright? And they are going to actually start trying to kill MPs and stuff like that for real. But these stuff is just setting it up. Alright? 
uh, let's go back. There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor priests nor princes. So just like you got in America, you got a lot of people in America saying that the government in America is illegitimate and that they're traitors and they've sold out to the UN, blah, 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 blah. Those same people, a lot of them, they're, therefore, they're not going to regard the government in that day. And they're actually going to try and fight with the cops, fight with the military and so forth because... As far as they're concerned, the government, the military, and the police no longer represent the, the will of the people, which is the case. So you are going to start seeing, uh, some of them are going to be set up, but you are going to start seeing Edomites and different people start actually losing it and doing things like this. So I believe this particular one was set up because the timing of it is, is, is so perfect, but ultimately hey, it, there's a possibility that it wasn't set up and because we, we are in the time of second, that's just... Um, 15 but nevertheless the result of these of this act is going to be the same the, the the elites say that you never let a good crisis go to waste so even if this guy wasn't set up which i believe he was but he might not have been set up he could actually be a guy that's disenchanted with the, his life and disenchanted with the way the country's going and decided to act if that's the case they're still going to use that for the same thing because it is really perfect timing right and more people are going be inspired by this man and you're gonna do more things all right and the course of their action shall stand in power so there's gonna come a time when certain members of the public they're gonna overpower the government in certain places man you know and you see that you've seen that happen already in certain parts of the world so so this thing this thing is, is um basically this thing is um heating up and gonna is getting to boiling point man and the elites are, are prepared to do what they got to do to come down hard on the people and a lot of the people are, are prepared to come up against these governments man all right so we in that time keep your eyes open over the next well you suppose eyes are supposed to be always open and watching but keep your eyes open more things are going to happen more things are going to come out they're setting it up okay they 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 know they have a short time and they want to bring this new world order in and they have, they have to set it up perfectly they're setting up a, uh, the demolition of this society to bring in their new world order so be be prepared spiritually man you know uh, um and um keep your eyes open so with that i'm gonna say all i want